My name is Esteban Oreo. I'm a photographer, director, and I live in Los Angeles, California. I grew up in Santa Monica. I was born at St. John's Hospital, so I grew up over there on the west side. And uh, when I got old enough to move on my own, I moved to Hollywood and started um, doing construction, working in the club business. And uh, that led to my job with House of Pain in Cypress Hill, uh, tour managing both of those groups for 13 years. I did House of Pain for three years, uh, 92, 93, 94. And then I did Cypress Hill from 94 to 2005. And within those um, years, I started taking photographs and um, my dad gave me a camera, a spare camera he had. And um, I just started taking pictures of stuff that I was around, which was touring with the bands. And then when I came home, I was running to low riding. So I did a lot of um, photography of low riding and that whole culture. And that's how I got to where I am today. I grew up listening to like uh, soul and um, classic rock groups like um, Led Zeppelin, uh, Fleetwood Mac, the Rolling Stones, Jimi Hendrix, Janis Joplin, and um, then the Old Soul and like you know groups like Al Green, Marvin Gaye, Earth, Wind, and Fire, you know like the standard stuff that was big. Because I was born in '66, so I grew up here in the '60s and '70s music, you know, as it was coming out. So it wasn't like you know classic then. It was just like that shit was being played the first time on the radio. I listened to some new uh, hip hop, you know, like the French Montanas or the um, Drake or, you know, the, the Jay Z, all the same shit that everybody's listening to because it's, it's catchy, you know. Artists that I got paychecks from was House of Pain, Cypress Hill, uh, Candlebox another group called Proper Grounds and um, those were groups that I work with tour managing and then as far as uh, doing photography or directing videos I've done about maybe a hundred different artists within uh, let's say um, hip-hop and rock punk rock based groups they're uh, probably the biggest ever was uh, Blink-182 and uh, Cypress Hill and Eminem, Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, but um, yeah, there's been so many, it's like, I sit here and just read a list or, uh, you know, bore you with all the names. See all these? These are all magazines that I've shot for. There's no way to remember all this shit. So luckily I kept copies of it all. And I'd even um, like mark the pages so I'd know exactly where, you know, like my shoot was. Cause there's no way I could remember all that shit. It's impossible. You know, I just like music, period, you know? Like, I stood on stage and heard House of Pain do every single show. So every time uh, Jump Around was played live, I was there. And it, so I've heard that song, like, hundreds and hundreds of times. The same with Cypress Hill. I was with them on the road for 10 years. So I've seen them perform, like those songs like maybe thousands of times you know and uh i never got sick of it you know music took me around the world i've been to probably about 55 countries and um i'd say 45 of those were because of music so music definitely influenced my life and it is my life you know paid my bills and bought me a house and you know 
made it so I get to do things that I want to do. Gave me a little bit of taste of that, uh, what it's like to, to live better. You know, I'm pretty much around music every day, all day.